Good morning, CNS. Today's Wednesday. Uh, it's April 12th, 2023. It's a B-Day. I'm Julian. And I'm Jaden. Good morning, everyone. Attention football players. Thursday at 3 in the cafeteria, there's going to be a meeting for any of you guys that are interested in playing football next year, whether you've played before or not. Attention all Seal of Biliteracy candidates. Your final meeting of the school year is tomorrow in room 304 at 2 p.m. There will be a lot of information about the final presentations that will take place next, fr uh, next Friday the 21st. Also, pay attention to your missing project components. The final deadline is tonight at midnight. If you are missing components past this deadline, you will not be able to present next Friday and you will not earn the seal of biliteracy. See Mrs. Keene in room 304 if you have questions. Interested in animation? Animation studios have been coming to central New York and they're looking for local talent. Check the anime, Animate Boot Camp sponsored through Live Animation, Syrac Live animation Studios in Syracuse. Animate Boot Camp provides real-world hands-on training and exposure to digital animation. Visit the Career Center website or liveanimationstudio.com for more information. The University of Tampa will be in the Career Center today, April 12th at 1045. All students are welcome. See Mrs. Deaver for a pass. You need a summer job? Clinton's Ditch and the Town of Clare are looking for employees for the summer. More information can be found on the Career Center website. The Navy will be in the Student Center in Cafe 1 today during lunches. In the Navy, you'll find there's much more to be gained than a regular paycheck. In fact, the Navy experience can shape your future through outstanding financial benefits, great career potential, and the lifestyle of freedom and personal growth that you've been waiting for. Stop by the Student Center to see what the Navy can offer you. Here's sports, Will Landon. The baseball team won their home opener against Syracuse last night 9-4. The boys were able to bounce back from going down 4-0 in the first inning. Bryce Sicaro and Batista Wood had three strikeouts, and Sean Lawler contributed with a clutch double. The boys look to keep their winning streak going on Friday against Rome. Good job to the boys on the tennis team for winning their game 7-0 against Fulton. They play again today against Oswego. Good luck. The stage is practically set for the NHL playoffs to start next week as the Buffalo Sabres lost to the New Jersey Devils 6-2. This pushes the Rangers to the third seed in the Metro and eliminated the Sabres from a wildcard spot for 12th year straight. Playoffs in the NBA are here. As last night, the Hawks traveled to Miami to knock off the Heat. Trey Young led the Hawks to 25 points. They will start their series against two-seed Boston on Saturday. Over in the West, LeBron and the Lakers took on Cat and the T-Wolves. LeBron had a clutch three under the minute mark and 30 points to push L.A. over Minnesota. That's all for sports. Back over to you. For lunch today, there will be mac and cheese with a garlic breadstick, steamed green beans, and fruit juice. That's all for today, everybody. Have a good day. I'm Julian. And I'm Jaden. Have a good one. I have made very many friends. <laughs> so many friends. All of my friends are like music people, chorus people. It's, it like it, it feels like it gives me purpose to just like get up and to to come here to like be with these people. Chorus is it's one of my coping mechanisms. So many people you can meet from so many different walks of life and you can become so close to so many people. I really like the environment and it's always just like a fun enjoyable time. Everyone's just really supportive. It's a really great group of people. Each year we do something different, and it's I'm always learning. It's never the same thing. It makes me feel connected to things that I just can't be connected to anymore. I love the environment. 